So guys, welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, man, that support on the first video was awesome. Uh, if you want more of this game quickly, just keep just run that like button. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I don't think they'll all be an hour and a half long, but uh, I plan on trying to do longer videos for this series in general if I can. Uh, we'll just kind of see what happens, though. All right, guys, I love you. Best audience ever. Let's get this. I like how the loading screen... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Wait, what, what game was it recently that I played where I just could never get the loading screens? It might have been DBZ, which I need to finish. Alright, here we go. Yo, the cinematic look of this game is so good. Some people say Wu Tai's involved. No guards here, right? We chilling right now, it looks like. Oh man, check it out! That is so cool. I remember the train sequence right here. There's all these people here too. That's hey, insane. Got a cool. I never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. Why don't you learn to take a wow. hint, buddy? My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. You see, my daughter. Now One thing I'm curious about is so. they're obviously going to make another one because this isn't the whole game. Little help, Cloud, please. Little help. Sure, so oh, no, too. I can't stop oh, thinking about it. The bow I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I can't believe I survived this. Yo, it's funny how I'm just walking around. Look how big there it is compared to everybody what else. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, uh, quit talking out your ass. <sighs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> oh I actually wonder how they chose to do different, like, because, like, they could have made a lot of sections cutscenes, but they didn't. I wonder, like, why they choose certain ones, because the original game you hear that didn't have that, you know? You shouldn't retrieve my ass. I think it had a few moments where it'd have that, but not like... I mean, it had cutscenes, like the Sephiroth one, but I don't remember there being one on this train, I guess. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. 
Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hmm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Well, here we go. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, like, the little scene where he celebrates. Oh, yeah, he's got to go home to Marlene, I think, is her name. I can't remember, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna look at some stuff. We got the map here, return to base. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of look around. So the Midgar city map, let's see what... Sector 7 slums... I feel like this entire game's gonna take place in Midgar. I don't... Had me worried. That wouldn't even be disc 1. I just wonder how far we're gonna go, because I know, like, Red 13, uh, Tifa... I, I don't know, like, who else we're gonna run into in here that... I mean, obviously Eris, but I... I don't know. I'm curious how they're gonna do it. I used to call her Tifa. <laughs> when I was little. Tifa. Alright, so I think we got pretty much just one way to go. I don't think there's a whole lot of light. Unless there's shops nearby. I like it, the little cut, not the cut scenes, but the little dialogue on the left side. You can kind of skim over it. It's just conversations going on. I've never felt the ground shake like that. Apparently Shinra they really brought this game to life, though, man. I'm going to tell you, I tried going back to playing 7 on my Switch the other day. Just, you know, just check it out. And it's like, you know, it's a really good game still. It's just, you got to think the graphics and everything. This is just such a... It's like a whole new experience, basically. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? Wow. 
What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all these. Not a whole lot to really explore, I feel like. Warning. Gate Warning broken. gate uh Fiends broken in area. Fiends in area. Caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. It's so cool having like everybody has a voice now, you know? Original game, you had to be good uh, at reading. Excuse me. <laughs> Due to an emergency, entry into this area is... Broken. It's all good. Not going there anyways. Here we go. Sector 7 slums. Let's get it. I was excited to see how this looked. A little bit of, like, nightlife, I guess. This game does feel a lot linear, uh, a lot more linear than I thought it would be so far. But that's not a bad thing. It's just really cutscene driven. And, uh, uh oh, here we go. The moments. Marlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Can't really do anything. All right, here we go. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? And the graphics in this game are insane. Like, I mean, obviously compared to the the original, it's not the same game Before at all. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but. I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. I wonder how, how her combat's gonna be. The it was chaotic. Like Sorry for dragging you into all this. Shape. It was, it was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll Some try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. Not good at all. She was always like the brawler type. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. 
You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I wonder what the end game's gonna be for this. And can your characters carry over I to the next Sector remake on the news. part, you know? It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. Attack Sector so, seven? The top it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. Man, look at and the here scale. We are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room right, 201 go. here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. All right, turn to base. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. You know, one, one thing I like about this game so far that a lot of people haven't really mentioned is the, uh, the combat system. You know, obviously it got- it has, like, the, uh, the free flow and everything, but it- to think, like, the night and day difference, I just wonder if there's gonna be summons in this game. You know? That's the one thing I'm curious about. How's it gonna work? We'll start early on, though. I just remember the nights of the round was amazing. <laughs> hey! You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure.
Life in the slums. <clears> hey, <throat> it's daytime now. How convenient. Uh, should we go talk to her? I don't know. No? Alright then. That solves that. Well now, you must be Cloud. <sighs> I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. You know what, let me just check. Let's see what we got really quick. All right, so we're headed over here. Jukebox. Definitely don't want to... <laughs> oh, I did leave, like, the music on for this game. I felt like it wouldn't be right to play without it. Hopefully my videos don't get taken down or claimed or whatever, you know. Some games I don't have any issues. Other games I do. But my demo video was fine, so I don't know. Just kind of rolling with it right now. There's so many people who just don't on. that the planet is a living thing. You can't pet this or feed the cat. Great. What about the dog? I saw a dog somewhere over here. Or was it back in the other section? Yes. Enjoy yourself. Oh well. Let's get going. Like <gasps> Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. Although the next batch probably could if Jesse put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place, and it's easy money too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman, I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. I feel like most of this video is just me chilling watching cutscenes, you know? Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Don't take your eyes off I, it all today. I just kind of wonder, like, what's uh? All right, collecting music discs. This was the thing I saw on the map just a minute ago. Certain characters you can approach the source of the music. Music icon will appear. Uh, all right. Well, it's back over there. Let me go back and get it then. I didn't think it really mattered to collect it or not. Inside the bar area. Let's just go back in, shall we? I was about to miss it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, it's her theme music. Nice. That is awesome. I'm not gonna play it all the way, obviously. But I got it now, so we're good. Pretty sure that it takes it off the map. Well, no, it, it did add it to my thing, but... Alright, I think we're good. We're beginning to stock up. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys supporting this series so far. Like, I know it's only part two, but I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, let me see. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. I mean, what do we actually need here, I wonder? Let's see what material they got. Healing, um, lightning, ice. Because we're going to share this with everybody. Let me see what I got. So, you can also buy the prelude. That's actually, now that's actually nice. I like that. Should I go ahead and get it? I feel like I should probably 
uh, use a potion over that. Phoenix Down's probably going to be... Oh, man, you know what? If I get poisoned? All right, let's, let's just go ahead and... I don't know what I want here. So, Thun... Thun Thundara, I guess is how you say it. Thun, Thundaga, I can't speak. Oh yeah, there's always like AGA at the end. Yep. Except this one. Oh yeah, the level two had region. Okay. I don't know which one I need, honestly. I feel like I should just be buying, so you can buy music only. <laughs> All the products. Uh, let's just go with potions for now. I feel like let's buy a couple of antidotes. Let's buy two of those. Uh, maybe... I don't know, man. Potions might be the way to go, honestly. I know that after a while these won't matter, but... Alright, we got 850 left. Uh, maybe one more Phoenix down. I'll buy the Prelude, why not? <laughs> why not? And I'll save the rest of my gill. I don't want to spend it all in one place, I suppose. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teef is with you. This dude's we'll thirsty. We'll see you around, okay? <laughs> and let us know when your filter next needs changing. This, this man, this is the guy that like comments on Instagram pictures. Slide into the DM, sir. All the items you can want. Oh, hold on, let me check something really quick. The jukebox. I want to just, well, actually, no, it's already going, but set materia. I mean, I got healing and fire. She's not in my party yet. Battle settings, everything's good there. Enemy intel. Oh, I did want to see something really quick. So, the shock trooper guy. Hold on. Is it going to load forever? What's going on here? It doesn't have anything. Okay, yeah. These guys gave me some trouble. Weaknesses, nothing. So, battle lot. I guess the more you kill, the more it... I don't know. It shows, like, the area they're actually into. That's kind of cool. So that's the shop. Let's just go back the other way, then. Wait, hold on. Which way am I facing? Yeah, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I am running right past where I need to be. Here we go. He's a regular. Stock up here, and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well... You could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Nice. Oh, can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, rest spots. Uh, taking a break at rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. Okay. So the rest spots include, okay, your own bed, blue benches, next to vending machines and other locations. Nice. Safe haven, pretty much. I need to talk to her again. All right, hold on. There's the dog. You can't pet the dog, though. Oh, well. You'd have more color in your cheeks if you went to bed earlier. Missed opportunity there. <laughs> Yo, this little uh, section has been really awesome. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while there? Five years, give or take. How? Ain't they short uh, but never mind that. But We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons drawer. 
doing them setups right there. Or crunches, I guess. Wait, what's the difference? Setup versus crunch. I've never really thought about it. I don't want to get confused right now. Hold on. Weapons, here we go. Not like I need one with my big sword over here. Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! Alright. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. All right, life in the slums. We're still going with this main scenario. I haven't actually looked yet. Hold on. Story. All right, so this is just chapter three, noisy neighbor. Oh, it actually shows you. Oh, wait, let's go back. We can go backwards, yeah. Why is that one broken into a little subsection there? Oh, I guess they're all like that. Home sweet slum. So what's... Okay, what is each chapter like? View chapter list. What how many chapters there are? Interesting. Come and check out Interesting. What if it's going to be like Final Fantasy 15? What did it have like... I don't know how many chapters that actually had. I remember playing it though. Not alone, you won't. 